later. Thank you. Oh, oh, I forgot to give Claudia her letter. We have the babysitting club meeting this afternoon. We can't stay mad at each other much longer. I just know it. I'm gonna apologize to Christy right now. Hi, Marianne. Hi, David Mitchell. Is Christy still here? Yep, she's just... I'm not here! If you are, David Mitchell, come here for a second. <sighs> Your friends are absent again? Um, yep. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Marianne. What? Let's go to my house. What just happened? It's a farmhouse. It was built in 1795. Ow! My mother isn't very organized yet. Actually, never. Mom, I'm home! Kitchen, honey. Not to trip on anything. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, honey, I'm just sidetracked. I unpacked this album and found an envelope full of pictures marked for photo albums. I was just putting them in. Mom, this is my friend Marianne. We eat, we eat lunch together. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Marianne. It's nice to meet you, too. I do apologize for the mess. Dawn's room is the one civilized spot in the house. She had her room unpacked and organized as the day after we moved in. What can I say? I am neat. Oh, wow. I like your room, but the colonists must have been midgets. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, there's a DVD player? It's in your room? Boy, are you lucky. Well, it's just until the rest of the house is in order. Then it goes upstairs to the living room. Wow, you have so many movies! Yeah, my mom's a movie nut. She orders everything she can. You probably don't have the parent trap, do you? Sure we do. In fact, it was the last thing my mom bought before. Before what? <sighs> before the divorce. That's why we moved here. Because my mom and dad got divorced. But why here? Mom's parents lived here. My mother grew up in Stony Brook. Wow, so did my dad. I wonder if they met if they ever knew each other. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Hey, I guess it's awful when your parents split up, but lots of kids have divorced parents. Christy Thomas, my best... er... My next-door neighbor has been a divorced kid for years. Where did your mother grow up? Oh, in Iowa. But my mom died a long time ago. Oh, yeah. It's never easy when this comes up in a conversation, but it always does. I don't remember my mom because I was only a baby when she died. She had cancer. I can only imagine how it was for my father to be all alone with the new baby. I'm sure part of him is scared of losing me too, so I can sort of understand why he's so strict. Even though I wish he would loosen up about my hair and clothes. I know he's only strict because he cares about me. What a great movie! Yeah! Hey, um, I better get going. Time for a babysitter's club meeting. I had no idea what to expect. Um, hi guys. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, babysitter's club. Finally, we have to talk to each other now. It's a new client, the Pereziosos. They need someone to watch for their three-year-old daughter, Jenny, on Sunday. Four till six. Who's free? I am. Marianne. No. I'm not either. I guess it's yours, Stacy. What about Christy? She's not here. She, and she knows the rules. She made the rules. If she doesn't if she doesn't phone to tell us she'll be late or she can't make it, then she misses out on jobs. Babysitters Club. Oh hi, Mrs. Thomas. Is Christy sick or something? She's where? Oh, okay. Christy, in case anybody's interested, is over at the Slavers' house, and Mrs. Thomas needs a sitter for David Mitchell again on Thursday. I'm free. So am I. So am I. B. Okay, I'm back. Here's what we're going to do. Everybody, everybody pick a piece of paper, and whoever gets the star sits for David Mitchell. Okay, I didn't get it. Me either. One, I sit for David Mitchell. Hey, you knew which one it was! I did not. How would I know that? Who made the scraps of paper? Are you calling me a cheater? You said it, I didn't. <sighs> Here. Bye. Still not home yet. I'm going to make that as a sign. Hello? Uh, hi Claudia, it's Marianne. 
Oh, hi. I read your note. Thanks. You're welcome. Since Christy skipped today's meeting, do you think she doesn't want to be part of the club anymore? I guess for a while, anyway. What should we do about the club, then? She is the president. Yeah. Christy's the one who started the Babysitter's Club, so why would she let us run it without her? We're the ones she's mad at. Well, we can't have any meetings like today. If you talk to Christy, I'll talk to Stacy. All right.